All right, so here we are inside of the Q software. I figured I'd give you kind of a quick, really quick rundown of what this software looks like. When you've got your Corsair products plugged in, it's gonna come up here right on the main menu of the M65, and then I've got the K70 RGB rapid fire. Look out for that review coming for the K70 because it'll be coming, and I'll also be doing one for the Logitech G502, so look out for that one. Anyways, how you do it is if you click on the M65 Pro RGB, you've got actions. So these are going to be kind of different macros or text or remap the key or media or launch applications, timer, disable, etc., etc. So for example, if you wanted this top button to open a program, you would do launch application and then you would click run for a, the following from a program and then you find that program. Next, we've got lighting effects. So depending if you're on advanced or simple, then you're going to have different things. When you're on simple, you're going to see the rainbow, color shift, color pull, static color, and lighting link. And then advanced, you get a little more different things. So static, gradient, and solid where you can choose what colors you want. Moving on to the DPI settings, you've got four defaults that you can use here. And then up to six different DPI, DPI settings that you can use, including the sniper button. So five normal DPIs, one with the sniper button. And you can increase these by 100. You can also, which is really nice and awesome, do the X DPI and the Y DPI. So you can change both of those to be different, which is the only mouse that I've found so far that is able to do that, which is super awesome. But like I said, it changes by 100 and not 50. When we go to performance, it just comes up with angle snapping, which you shouldn't use. The lift height, which is just how high off of everything you can go before your mouse stops registering. And then enhanced pointer precision. Once again, you shouldn't use that either because what that means is if I'm going really slow like this, it's going to be accurate. But and then if I go fast, it's going to go further. You don't want either of those on. You have a super high quality mouse if you're using this that you don't need any of those. Use your DPI for that. And then, of course, you've got the surface calibration, which you click this little button and you spin it in a circle and make sure it's in the green. And then it'll calibrate to the surface of your whatever that you're using for best results. And then what is nice, too, is you've got different profiles up here that you can add. I already have all kinds for the mouse and for my keyboard, which I'll switch over to my me switching to the different profiles really quick in the video so you can actually see the keyboard and the mouse changing at the same time. All right, so that is all I've got for this video. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a dislike. And of course, if you've been following my content for a while, please do subscribe and make sure to check out my other reviews and videos. And I will see you and your beautiful face on the next one. See ya. Thank you.